So today I'm going to show you how to build a homemade uh, composting tumbler, similar to this one. We'll build another one today. And uh, the total materials were $25, uh, and then the tumbler was $20. So you'll see the materials are really basic and inexpensive here. I have these two 2x6x10s. Two by by All together they cost $11.90. Um, then I have this uh, one inch by 36 inch metal bar um, that ended up costing $9.93. Uh, it needs to be very sturdy actually. Um, uh, you're going to put a lot of weight on this so you can use whatever you want but it has to be something extremely um, um, sturdy, something that can hold a lot of weight. Uh, these spacers together um, were really cheap, they cost something like a buck ten for, for both of them. Uh, you'll see where I use those spacers a little bit later. And then the caps, I have the caps on this uh, bar and together they're something like $2.50. Um, and they're in the same section at, um, at Lowe's where I picked them up and um, you just put them on the end and, and you'll see how I use those. Um, the final item is the really important one which is the actual barrel itself. Now I've heard all sorts of stories about where you can get these barrels. Um, some people say that farms like horse farms might have these and be giving them away. Uh, you can call your local farms. I found a pickle um, factory near us and they sell them used for 20 bucks. So that ended up being really the most expensive thing. But this is something like a 45 gallon drum and I like the twist top in particular here because you can just uh, twist it off really easily. Um, um, but all together, that's about $45 worth of material. So the first step is to measure out and mark off where you're going to cut on the board. Um, the measurements I have is for the uh, legs, um, it's 42 inches total. And then um, the next section I have for the, um, uh, for the crossbar, and that's 34 inches. And then the next section I have is the height. That's the arm that actually is going to hold the barrel uh, and that's 45 inches total or it's just the rest of the board. So you really use up these two boards nicely. The next step is just cutting these boards. And look, I you know, I don't even have a you know, power saw or anything like that. I'm just going to use a regular hand saw. Um, surely you can you can get one of these from a neighbor. Um, but I'm just going to cut each of those spaces uh, down there that we marked off earlier. So since I marked in pencil on each board what the uh, part of the tumbler it's going to be, um, I have grouped them together with their appropriate sizes. Um, the tall ones here, this is going to be the height um, that the barrel is actually going to be hanging on. And what I do next is I take my measurement and I've measured 14 inches from what's going to be the top. So this is going to be ultimately the top. I measure 14 inches there and I do the same on this side. And then I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle there. Now you, your height might be different depending on the height of your barrel um, and where you want to position it. But from my experience, um, this 14 inches should be better than where I made the first one. So now that I've marked where I'm going to drill here, I'm going to take my 1 and 3 8 inch drill bit. And uh, because I'm using a 1 inch pipe, the 1 and 3 8 gives it a little bit of space um, to make sure that the pipe can fit through the hole. Um, you can get one of these bits from a neighbor. I did last time. Uh, just ask around and, and you want to drill a hole that's just a little bit bigger than your pipe. So you'll see that I've uh, drilled those uh, holes in there nicely. So the next step I'm going to take is uh, assemble the uh, bottom section of the tumbler. So now that I have the holes cut out, um, I've built or laid out the bottom part of this. So um, this part of this is, is what I call the leg. Uh, this is the cross beam. And then this is the height where we just uh, drilled that hole in. I'm going to take these uh, nails here and uh, I'll probably just start by going in the uh, sides here. Um, and then I will uh, eventually uh, you know, put um, screws in here also. Okay, you'll see that it is not pretty, but uh, I've screwed a whole bunch of uh, screws into there, and we have them on this side too. Uh, so that's uh, everywhere that I've done them. Again, it's, it's not pretty. There's some gaps in the board, but it seems to be holding uh, pretty solid. So the next step is to mark where you're going to drill the hole on the bin itself. 
And what I've done is I've done it about 20 inches from the bottom, which is right about uh, right about there. And you'll see that that's significantly um, lower than halfway point. Um, before I drilled it a, bit, a little bit higher, like there. Um, and the problem is when you have compost in this area that gets really heavy and actually cooks down, then the light stuff is on top, and you actually have a really hard time uh, tipping the uh, tumbler and spinning it. So I've done it lower, and I think this is going to make a spinning it much easier. So you can see that what I've done is uh, completed the entire uh, tumbler. So I have the bar here that I put through. I put the end caps on the bar with some pretty large uh, wrenches and then I put these spacers right in between the two here. And that's just to make sure that um, there's a little bit of room between the two here so that it doesn't, um, so that it's able to spin nice and easily. Um, I already have a little bit of stuff in here but you'll see that it, um, it rocks back and forth pretty nicely and then um, I can just spin it like this. I push down on the handle and uh, now it's upside down and stuff's um, composting nicely in there. So um, I also end up drilling lots of holes. I don't know if you can see this too closely, but I end up drilling lots of holes here. Again, remember the key for tumbling and composting is to get as much oxygen in there as possible. That's why we tumble it, um, to make sure that every uh, microorganism can, can um, have oxygen to, um, to quickly eat through what it needs to. Um, so there's the final result. So I quickly wanted to show you what these tumblers can do. Um, in, last year I built this one and I must have put about, I'd say, nine or ten of those full uh, brown paper waste bags of contents into that tumbler there. It all cooked down and it still, all of it could fit into that one tumbler um, after it cooked down enough. So when you spin it enough, you get enough oxygen in there, it really heats up, it cooks down, it breaks down, the microorganisms break it down to much smaller, finer pieces, which makes good organic soil. And if you can see, if it's not too dark, uh, you can take a look in here and see the type of thing um, that I've got. This is nice and, um, and and uh, it, it's compact, it's really solid in here, um, but this is all organic matter here that's gonna go back into my yard, um, help with my wife's garden, as well as uh, you know, patch up some spots of grass that aren't doing well, and, and it's really gonna um, you know, feed whatever needs to grow extremely well and efficiently.